Howdy, 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 howdy. So, today. Today. Well, first of all, I woke up to it snowing. So, all you guys in Texas, we now feel your pain. We've been feeling that pain. Oh, we've, yeah, that's right. We live in Pennsylvania had, and we've had snow a we, couple times this winter. Couple? Okay, so we still had snow on the ground from the last time. We were just starting to see the ground. Just starting. But it wasn't good enough for you to go out there and get wood. Because we still had too much snow on the ground. Now we get more. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about Texas again a little bit. And who, who, so, yes. Texas, Texas, Texas. Oh, my God. So, he told me about his story of governor, mayor? Mayor. Mayor, mayor. of Colorado City. When he told me what in the world this guy said, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Because what was it? Um... Don't blame uh, the electricity. Don't do this. Don't do that. It, 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 it was it was like uh, people are uh, people are entitled. Uh, people are so entitled. You know, people. You know, people calling on the government to fix their problems and. and I'm sitting know, here like, are calling you calling on the power company to fix their problems and. You know what? You should just be smart enough to go and fend for yourself. Fend for yourself, people. Okay, here. Don't here. depend on anybody. Just do it for your damn self. But see, here's here's where my problem comes in. Okay. You're telling people to fend for themselves. And not to depend on the power company that you pay. You're paying power company for. That's that's where my. <laughs> Government, you pay taxes. Like, just like the water. Okay, if it was my fault because I didn't have my drains dripping, and so my household pipes froze, okay, it's on me. But the city water main breaks, it's on the city. It's their job to pay taxes. That's pay. like when our city. That's why I pay taxes. That's why, like last week, when our our city the uh, uh, there was a water main break. Well, guess what? That wasn't on us. Now, what was on us is me flooding the house. But that's beside the point. That's for another whole top dude. That was my fault. But the original, that was the city. It, the pipes or whatever, they busted. So yes. The mayor's telling you, don't call me, fend for yourself. And I you, know you pay taxes. I know you're... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, the best part was, um, if you don't have electricity, then find ways to warm up. Yeah, find ways to he heat your, keep your family warm. Like, are you kidding? So what, you just want me to light the house on fire? Well, you'd melt the snow. That's true. Now we 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 could always just go go find a find one of those Texas oil barrels, <laughs> and we could we could start a burn barrel. <laughs> oh my God! But I guess he got a lot of flack and resigned. Of course, he got a lot of flack. Most of those people that he's talking to are taxpayers. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they hunted him down at his house. I, I mean, Mr. Mayor, we pay your salary. That just that that was an implosion like the Donald Trump uh, building yesterday. Yeah, uh, the Trump Plaza blow up and um. Uh, at least that was and, contained. And, yeah, at least that one was contained and structured. This guy has uh, no self-containment whatsoever. He just blew up. And, and that lasted uh, what? Social 20... media is not your friend. <laughs> If you're going to post stupid rants, be ready to take the flack for it. I mean, I get flack for my stupid rants. Uh, you know, that's 
the whole point. You know, be ready for it. But if you're a politician, don't piss off your constituents. <laughs> That's just priceless. Oh, dude. I just, I couldn't believe I, that. I mean, I, they literally pay his salary. And yet, boom. Yeah, he's saying, I, I'm tired of... It's something this. about don't ask for handouts. Yeah, don't, don't ask, ask for, for handouts. Really? I'm asking you for a handout? I'm asking you to do your job, keep my, keep my, keep my town, you know, it, it, it'd be like the mayor, uh, like our mayor, saying something like that. Dude. I mean, yes. If the electricity goes out, then you got to find ways to keep yourself warm until your electric companies can get it back on. But don't antagonize the situation. Because otherwise there's, there's going to be a lot of fire going on. See, if our power goes out, okay, I got a fireplace. I got wood. Oh, by the way, we got an answer to to the question about eggs. Oh yeah, eggs. We we now know that egg sandwiches are really good, and people <laughs> get, people could have um gas grills. Gas ranges. Yeah, gas ranges. I'm like, you know, I never even think about that. But. Uh, I know my a lot of the people that. Um, that buy the milk and eggs. They they don't have gas ranges, or at least they're not thinking about the gas the fact that they might have a gas grill. Like I have a gas grill, but it's outside. But it's outside. So you're gonna go outside in the snow and, and use the gas grill and cook myself an egg sandwich. Don't worry, I love egg sandwiches. I'd probably make him go do it. I wouldn't go do it. She would, she would, she'd go, please, I want eggs. I really would. I'll say, you know what, I got a fireplace, go get me a pot. Um, <laughs> he would do I'll, that. I'll boil you eggs. He would do that. He'd be like, there's, <laughs> there's a fireplace. But, so yeah, that that was some in interesting information that uh, he, he told me about yesterday, so... I, I just wanted to continue with with the whole Texas topic from yesterday and and about the snow and all of y'all that are in Texas, I feel ya. I lived in Texas. Uh, all you guys, all you residents of Colorado City, stay safe. Try to stay warm. Um, hopefully, you guys get power back soon if you haven't gotten it back and yet. And anyone else who's lost power, we we really do feel you because. We got family, we got friends down yeah, there. Yeah, still all, got... all of us are worrying about our own people. We, yeah. uh, you know, uh, she's like, from Texas. Like our daughter told us that she's already contacted a few of her friends to make sure that they are safe. So we feel you, and we're here. So um, we wish you the best, and hopefully, you, you know, you're staying safe and as warm as you can. Yeah, but like I was about to say, all you people in Colorado City, quit high, quit electing people who think they're tough. You don't need it. You don't need You don't need some guy who thinks he's a tough guy um, to run your city. Why don't you actually hire somebody who's smart and might know something about city planning, maybe? Yeah. That's just sad. It's just sad. So, till next time. Bye. We're out of here.